So hello friends, welcome to Karma Tech. In this particular video, I'm going to tell you how to set up your Mac from start to end. So if you have purchased a new Mac and if you don't know how to set it up, you will get to know if you watch this video till the very end. I'm going to guide you through each and every step. But before that, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start. So let's start with the setup without wasting any time. So if you turn on your Mac for the first time, you will be able to see this particular screen. Now it says hello in different languages. So all you have to do is just simply select this arrow option at the bottom. Once you select that on the next page, you need to select the language. You can scroll up and down to choose the language. After selecting the language, just simply select this arrow option. Now on the next page, you need to select your country or region. Again, if you scroll down or up, you will get multiple options over here. I'm going to select United States for now. And once you select your country or region, again, select continue option. Next option is of accessibility. Uh, nothing to do over here. Just simply select not now and go ahead. Now, this is the page where it will ask you to select a Wi-Fi network. So if you have internet connection at your home, if you have a Wi-Fi network, just simply look for the uh, you know Wi-Fi network name, select that, enter the password and go ahead. So I have entered the Wi-Fi password. Let's select continue option. Now the next page is of data and privacy. You can read this uh, if you want. Just select continue option, no other option to select. Now, this is the page uh, of migration assistance. So it says that if you have information on another Mac or window PC, uh, you can transfer it to this particular Mac. You can also uh, transfer information from a time machine backup or another startup disk. So if you want to uh, transfer details from another Mac to this particular Mac, or if you want to transfer the data from Mac to Mac, you can select from Mac option over here. If you want to transfer data from Windows PC, you can select from a Windows PC and you can go ahead. But if you don't want to transfer anything, you just want to set it up as a new Mac, then you can just simply go here and select not now. Now, this is a very important page over here. It will ask you to uh, sign in with your Apple account. But if you are new to Mac device and you, if you don't have a Apple account, then you can just simply select create new Apple account option over here. And on the next step, it will ask you to select your birth date. And later on, uh, if you select this continue option, it will ask you to enter your details. So I'm going to show you quickly. So I have selected a random date of birth. Let's select continue option. Now on this particular page, you need to enter your first name, last name. You need to enter your email ID. I would recommend that if you have a Gmail account, use that same email ID over here and use the same password so that uh, your Apple account and your Gmail account will be on the same email ID. So it will help you in future. And again, if you want any announcement letters or, or something, you can just check this box and you can select continue. And basically you can create a new Apple account and you can go to the next step. Now I do have Apple account already, so I'm not going to create a new one, but there is again uh, an additional step which you can do. And that is without using your Apple ID, you can just complete the setup. And for that, all you need to do is just simply select setup later option. If you select setup later and if you complete the setup process after completing the setup, you can, uh, you know, later on add your Apple account. So yeah, it's not a big deal. So if you want to enter the Apple account details, you can simply enter the details and you can go ahead. So I'm going to select setup later for now and I'm going to select skip. These are the uh, terms and conditions you can read if you want to select this agree option. And again on the pop up screen, select agree. Now it will ask you to create a computer account, which is basically a user account and uh, you can enter the user name over here or you can select a specific name which you want you can also enter the account name which you want you can create a password you can also add hint that is optional if you want to add it you can add it and then select continue so let's create a demo user account for now i'm going to select demo account name is demo one let's keep password from one to four again you need to verify it if you want to add hint, as I told you, it's optional. Once you enter the uh, user account detail, select continue. Now you can see it is creating an user account. Now on the next page, it will ask you to enable location service. If you want to enable it, you can check this box. If you don't want to enable it, you can just simply select continue and go ahead. I'm going to select this box for now. Let's select continue. Uh, this is analytics page. Basically, if you want to share Mac analytics with Apple, check this box. If you want to uh, share crash and usage data with app developers, you can again check this box and select continue. I don't want to share my uh, details with app developers. So I'm just going to keep it. Uh, I'm just going to keep share Mac analytics with Apple and then select continue option. 
this is a screen time option you can check out your weekly reports you can uh, you know you get an option of uh, downtime and app limit you can schedule it and you can also uh, check out content and privacy restriction if you set screen time password this is very helpful uh, i will make a dedicated video on that if possible uh, if you set a screen time password uh, no one will be able to uh, you know change your apple id or no one will be able to log out or sign out from your apple id so yeah it's a privacy thing it's a very good option i'll try i'll definitely try to make a dedicated video on that so, so for now uh, ju uh, let's just select continue option and go ahead now this is apple intelligence page so basically with the mac os sequoia you get apple intelligence and with the 15.2 update you get uh, image playground and genmoji option so if you want to check out you can do it you can select setup now and go ahead so this is the siri page now uh, it will ask you to enable siri if you want to enable it check this box and go ahead over here you need to uh, select siri voice so voice one will be a male voice voice two will be a female voice if you want to listen to the voice you can just simply tap on that and you can listen to it so i want to set voice two for siri so i have selected voice two let's select continue and later on it will ask you to speak some sentences which it will show on the screen so continue now it is saying that just say siri then your request and yeah it's just the basic details again select continue so now we just have to say uh, you know whichever sentence pops up on the screen siri how's the weather hey siri send a message siri set a timer for three minutes hey siri get directions home siri play some music so yeah siri is now ready to use uh, just select continue option now this is uh, for siri and dictation if you want to share uh, recordings you can check this box if you don't want to share it select this not now option and simply go ahead now it will show you a touch id option if you are using uh, a mac which has touch id so all you have to do is if you want to enable touch id you just have to select continue option record your fingerprint over here and then you can go ahead if you want to set up touch id later you have that option as well so let's set up touch id as we have already selected continue option now place your finger over here on this touch id button and it will start recording the fingerprint now once the fingerprint is recorded uh, touch id is ready to use select continue option next is uh, you just have to choose your look if you want light theme or dark theme or if you want to set it to auto you can do that i'm going to select light for now let's select continue and it will say that welcome to mac so yeah basically the setup is complete if you select continue option this will be the desktop page at the bottom you get dock option you can check out applications over here if you go on launchpad you will be able to check out applications which are installed in your mac now let's say uh, if you want to add apple id after setting up your mac then to do that you can just simply go to system settings and in sign in option either you can enter your apple account details if you have one if you don't have if you just want to create a new account then select this don't have an account option and again it will show you the same steps you need to uh, enter your birth detail and on the next page it will ask you to you know enter your details uh, personal details and email id whichever you want to so yeah the steps will be the same so this is how you can add apple account after completing the setup now let's say if you want to check details related to your mac then in settings you can go to general and you can go to about section over here and then you will be able to check out your name so we have created a demo account so the username will be demo over here as you can see you can also check out which uh, processor is present in your mac so i have a macbook which comes with m1 so it is showing apple m1 over here uh, it is showing memory which is 8 gb you can check out the serial number over here you can check out the coverage details over here yeah there are multiple things over here so i guess that's it uh, for this video guys i hope this video was helpful and if it was then don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will see you all in the next one thank you